Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today, I want to show you how to customize this All-Star Sports poster. The poster is 8x10, 300 resolution, so it can be made quite a bit larger, 16x20, depending on where you have it printed. It's got 16 squares here, as you can see, and actually what I'm going to show you how to do is reduce. You can have up to 16, but we can also remove some of these squares so that if your team has less than 16 players you can customize this template to have less or even if your template you want to have your coaches on here but you don't have exactly 16 we cannot add more than 16 but I'm going to show you how to reduce it and how to customize it so let's go ahead and get started okay first of all I like to go ahead and click on my move tool and I like to make sure that auto select layer and show transform controls is checkmarked and I also like to make sure I have my layers palette up if your layers palette isn't up you can go to window and then click on layers okay so let's go ahead and customize this this is how it's gonna look when you first open it up let's go ahead and add a photo this is the uh, photo that I want to add and I'm just gonna click open okay now I want to come back to my poster and I'm going to come down here to the bottom where it says your photo here and I'm going to click on that so that my photo goes in exactly where I want it to go in so I'm going to go ahead and drag this in and it's actually sized pretty good but to resize it we're just going to take this corner and we're going to press shift and pull this down and I'm just going to press my arrow keys to situate it exactly where I want it and then I'm going to press enter and it's in a good, pretty good spot so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these edges and I'm going to do it in a way where it's not going to be permanent in case I need to move, the, move it around and add a part of it back in. I'm just going to come over here to my rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to go around this. And now I'm going to come over to my picture layer and I'm going to click on my mask. And as you can see it disappears so um, let's say later later I decide to move this around and I want that part of that back in what I can do is I can come over to my mask turn on my brush tool and as long as white is selected and a hard bristled brush I'm gonna go ahead and press my right bracket to make it larger I can just add that portion back in because it's still there okay so now I'm gonna go to my history and I'm just gonna go back to where we were because I don't need to do that okay so now I have my photo in place and I'm just gonna customize around it so let me go ahead and zoom back out I'm gonna press my alt key okay now I can see my entire template for this one I could use either orange or maybe gray let's go back to my layers and you can see all your layers are right here and they have a clipping mask on them and that's what allows it to add and subtract the squares for the pictures and so if you happen to release the clipping mask all you have to do is right click it and click create cl clipping mask for it to go back into place and you can actually now what it does is it it takes it off of the uh, layers above so you'll want to shift and click several at a time and then right click create clipping mask and then your clipping mask is back on there and you always want to save your original and work on a copy so if you have your your layers up here and you can see all the colors I'm gonna go ahead and turn on silver and turn off red now I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna customize the name I have my cap lock on click on my move tool come over here and click on where it says baseball 2009 and I'm just gonna change this to football and if I wanted to I could change this type over here I could make it larger or smaller or you can actually just type in the number 107 and you can change the year if you wanted it to say 2008 2009 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and change the information here. Okay, so I'm going to click on my Move tool, and then I'm going to come over to this layer, double click here, and type in the player's name. And I'm going to come down here, click on my Move tool, come to this one, and click on my Type tool. Okay, I can't remember what that number was that he was. Let's go ahead and view it. Alt. Okay, now let's talk about getting rid of some of the squares. And you could like remove some of these squares and maybe add a logo in place of it. So let's start down here. If I was going to have like, say, 14 uh, players, what I'd probably do is I'd probably remove this square and this square. Or I'd remove these two squares and put a logo right here or any other information that you wanted to put there. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. So we're going to come down to our frames layer. And this is basically, if I turn this off, you'll see that this is just a white frame. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fill in this white with white. So I'm just going to come back over to this square marquee. If it's not on rectangular, you can just right click it and then choose rectangular. Let's go ahead and reset this. And I'm going to change the top to white. And I'm just going to use my rectangular marquee while I have my frames highlighted. And I'm going to press Alt and Backspace. And it fills in that spot. Now if this was on, you would see that it immediately just disappeared. And then the only thing you have to do is you just have to get rid of this number. And I'm just going to turn that off. I'm going to turn this off. And then to get rid of this part, we're going to come up to Nameplate. And I'm just going to delete it. So again, I'm on my rectangular marquee. And I come over here, and I'm just going to make sure I got the right spot here. And I'm just going to press Delete. Now, Select, Deselect to make my marching ants go away. And then View, Fit on Screen. So now you can see that that area is now open. And let's say I wanted to put a logo there. If I had a logo for my team, I could just open up my logo and drag it in there and position it. Press Shift. And there you go. So all you have to do is add all the rest of the players. You can do the exact same technique to get rid of any of these squares. You could remove maybe the top one on the top or however you wanted to do it. But it's pretty easy to do. If you have any questions, please let me know and enjoy the template. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have yourself a creative day.